there. Welcome to Lunchtime Live. My name is Shannon and I am currently out on the trails here at the Wild Center showing off one of our new winter activities, which is kick sledding. Now you may be asking, what is a kick sled? Basically all it is, it's a sled and you can use it on ice or compacted snow. So we are currently using our kick sleds on compacted snow this winter. So we have ski runners on them. So if you've ever gone cross country skiing, the runners look very similar uh, that are on the bottom of these skis. And then if we wanted to use these on ice, zip across a pond, you can easily pop off the sled, uh, the ski runners, and you just have a nice blade, kind of like an ice skate blade to be used on ice. So very versatile mode of transportation. And they're not very common here in the United States as they were uh, originally invented in Scandinavia. So in Northern Europe, in Norway, and Sweden, these became very popular around 1900 or so. Really popular between the 1920s, 30s into 1950. And then they started decreasing in popularity. They were used for everyday transportation, uh, going to school, getting groceries, running errands. Uh, before cars were really uh, popular out in those areas. Really easy to get around, human powered transportation. All you do is put one foot on the ski runner and then you're kicking with your other foot. And then every couple of kicks, you do wanna switch feet. So you're not using one side of your body more than the other. Super easy to hop on and use them. You really don't need any skill or experience which is why we wanted to bring them to the Wild Center this winter. As we are an outdoor only experience, we wanted to give visitors a way to explore our trails uh, in a new way, and also a way to get them nice and warm on some of our cold winter days. Although uh, these are very easy to use, if you are kick sledding for a while, you do build up a good amount of body heat. So it's a great way to stay active and get warm out on the trails. And thus far, they have been really popular here at the Wild Center. So we've only had enough snow to use these for the last couple of days. And uh, we've had a lot of individuals, kids, adults, grandparents, really anyone can take a kick sled out and enjoy it. And there's a seat in the front. So these are super lightweight, easy to lift them up, easy to move around, and you can alternate. So. Parents have been taking kids out. Kids have been pushing parents. Uh, it's been a lot of fun over the last couple days. And luckily you don't need a whole lot of snow to use them. So we don't have a whole lot of snow here in the Adirondacks yet. We really only have maybe three or four inches on the ground compacted to about an inch or so. So uh, we are lucky that we have just enough snow to use these sleds. And as we've had a lot of popular use, our kick sled trails are nice and compact and the conditions are fast today. So if you do happen to come visit the Wild Center this winter, do make sure you try out a kick sled. They are a lot of fun um, and maybe a new mode of winter transportation. So we were very fortunate to partner with a local business here in the Tri Lakes uh, in Saranac Lake, New York, Human Power Planet Earth, which is a local bicycle shop. They happen to also sell kick sleds. Um, and they do rent them as well if you want to explore other parts of the Adirondacks via kick sled this winter. But uh, we were super fortunate to be able to partner with uh, John over at Human Power Planet Earth in Saranac Lake to bring kick sledding to the Wild Center this winter. So what is a mode of transportation, a way to get around? Um, I kind of like to think of them as a snow scooter almost. Um, really, really fun way to uh, explore the trails at the Wild Center, get a little bit of warmer this winter season. So kick sledding is available from 10 to 5 um, every day that we are opened. So this week we are open for the rest of the weekend and then for the rest of the winter we'll be open Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. So if you do happen to visit our outdoor experience, reservations are required before your visit and then you can chat with a staff member to learn all about kick sledding. As I mentioned, you really need no former experience to use the kick sleds. They are super fun. 
super easy and uh, you really just have to shift your body weight to turn these sleds. Um, so I'll show you that now. Oh, and you can see some visitors using them on the trails as well. You can actually pick up quite a little bit of speed and we do have a couple really small safe hills on our kick sled loops. So it is a lot of fun to uh, get out and try something new this winter. So I hope you all decide to visit us and try out the art of kick sledding or if you have another opportunity to try out kick sledding, I highly recommend it. It is a lot of fun and very quickly becoming my new favorite winter sport. So I hope you all have a great day and uh, get out and enjoy the first of the new year. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.